So in today's tutorial, we'll be sharing with you a little bit about how we do video editing. So in the last tutorial, we show you how to capture the video of the presenter as well as their, their, their laptop screen. So what we'll get is basically two videos, uh, the video of the person talking and as well as the video of the laptop screen of the presenter. So uh, right now I'll be sharing with you a little bit how I do the video editing uh, using uh, iMovie. So if you're a Mac user, this will be very useful for you. So first of all, let's review what the videos that we have had so far. All right, so we have two videos that we took from the last uh, tutorial. So the first video is of the, of the screen. This is how it sounds like. As you say, hello world, this is Michael Chang. So I'm showing you now the Engineers SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. And the other video is from the camera. So here I have turned on the recording on the Q4 camera. So it's looking at me as I make the presentation. Right, I'm showing the Engineers SG website. So at the same time as I do the recording, I will also be recording on the screen. I should say, hello world, this is Michael Cheng. So I'm showing you now the Engineers SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. So these are two videos that are there. So what I do next is I start up iMovie. So iMovie is the software we use to make to edit the files and to put them together. So in iMovie, what we want to do next is to actually import both videos into, into iMovie. So this is what I have right now uh, in iMovie. So first I'll start by creating a new, uh, new, new movie. We're learning teams. Test one. So next thing we do is we look. Let's introduce you to a couple of areas in the iMovie. So on the left we have the libraries, which are basically all the video files that you have, uh, the video sources of files that you can get. And on over here is the the currently the, the media that's being used in your project. And the bottom part is the timeline, so where we see all the time all the videos as you edit them, you can put them in layers. And on the right, so on the top right, is the preview window where you can see the video as it's being previewed. So first of all, we need to create a new uh, new event. An event is kind of like um, a list of all the an event is like a folder. Think of it as a folder where we keep all your files in, right? So first of all, this will be a sample video, uh, sample vid, right? Let's go create that. So we have a new folder or event for keeping our files. You click on import move media. We should then be able to drag in the two files that we have created. So these are all on the desktop. I have a folder called tutorial for editing. And these are the two videos there. You can see them and preview, preview them again. And then you can just take these two and import them. Based on depending on how big your files are, it will take a while, and you can see that it's now been edited and now been imported. So you can see, play them back. Right, I'm showing the engineers the SG website. So the video they want to go see is probably going to be you're going to start first of all with a opening scene, right? So usually our opening scene is our. Let me just import the file. The opening scene is usually our. Engineers SG uh, opening scene, which is our splash page, like this. Right? So we take that, drag it in to new file, to the bottom part, which is the screen, which is the timeline. So this is what you see. This is about three seconds, three seconds worth of footage. And next, we're going to do well, first of all, we see that it's actually becoming bigger and smaller on the top right hand corner so it's actually the, the John Burns Ken Burns effect so we can shoot, turn it off but set it, called, set it to fit all right so you flow through without anything happening so you can zoom in and zoom out of this you can just click on this uh, 
of the, on this on this uh, slider, and you can reduce the size of the timeline so you can zoom down to three seconds. We can use the command plus or command minus to do the same thing. Uh, next, we want to bring the video in. So this is the video I want to bring in. The first of all, we have the presenter's window as the background. So we command click to, uh, to select the entire footage, drag it in, and you will see that it goes like this. Michael Chang. So I'm showing you now the Engineer SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. As you can see, the video is the the audio itself is kind of uh, low. So what we do, what we want to do is basically make the to make this thing go a little bit um, make it a bit bit louder. So we click on that, and we say I want to auto. Which would basically adjust uh, the volume on this clip. I should say hello world. This is Michael Chang. So the waveform here shows you how loud the video is or the audio is. So yeah, so this is one part of it. So next thing we'll do is we also want a nice transition between the opening scene and the video. So we can click on transitions, which is over here. We usually use the cross blur, so select that and drag into the space between the two clips. Then you can preview it by pressing play. Right? So you will bring over enough. this. The next thing I want to do is look at the video of my face, which is over here. And I can now bring that in as well. But we only need the certain part of it, right? So we don't because you can you can see the video starts. Engineers SG website. So you try to find as I make the presentation. Right, I'm showing the Right, so we'll try and find the right appropriate audio area. I should say hello world. So it starts with the word hello world, so you can find out the spot over here. Camera. So look at me. Looking on the Q4 camera, so look at me. So here I have turned on the recording on the Q4 camera. So look at me as I make the presentation. Right, I'm showing the Engineers SG website. So at the same time as I do recording, I also be recording on the screen. I should say hello world. Right, so it's roughly around there. You don't have to actually need to be precise. So you just need to drag the area which you are interested in into the video. It will try to synchronize the two. Uh, it will try to line up the two at the, at the beginning spot. Um, you want to also adjust the audio. So again, click on the audio tab, click on auto, which will then adjust the audio. So you can click on, usually I just click on the plus to zoom in to the areas which I'm interested in and listen to the areas which are, which are being oh, played. This is Michael Chang, so I'm showing you. Right, so I would like to all align the audio such that it would fill up roughly around the same area as I started speaking on the screen. Hello, this is Michael Chang. It's a bit off, so I can just adjust it a bit more. Hello, this is Michael Chang. There's a bit of echo there, so we can actually see where it is by zooming in a bit further and look at the waveform and roughly maybe. It might need to be just a little tad bit more further to the right. So let's see how it sounds. And I'll also maybe try and add a little fade in effect. So it actually fades in at the front as well as the back you will try to fade in as well and fade out so what I will do is also make sure the f um, the clip over that the, over the overhang clip is actually uh, going to be fitted over so right here the first one it says cut away you change it to picture in picture which then lets you adjust the size of this thing over here, right? 
So what I want to do is sometimes uh, the audio feed on certain on, on one of these may not be necessary, so I can just swap it down. And there's hey, hello world, this is Michael Chang. So I'm sharing with you now the Engine SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. Right, and then this part probably we don't need to have everything. So what we can do is we can crop out the, the bits that we don't need. Just drag it in. And then we also make it fade out. So it looks something like this. The video can also be extended further because we know there's actually additional footage. If you say hello world, this is Michael Chang. So I'm sharing with you now the engineer SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. Hmm. Alright, so this is roughly the rough cut of the whole thing. Uh, I can also do a fade in from the beginning. So once the video has been edited, you can actually export the video. So what we want to do is we take a look at the top right hand corner, export, say you want to export as a file, um, then you can actually export this entire file as a video file. So you can switch to 720p or 1080p, so I'll just keep it to 720 so let's keep it small. Click on next to export the file or drop it into the Dropbox, into the desktop. And that should be it. So at the end of the rendering process, you see this circle go away and you should have your file. Right. So once the video has been uh, uh, exported, you'll see this little success message here. So you click on show and it will show you where the file is. And this is how it looks like. I should say hello world, this is Michael Chang. So I'm sharing with you now the engineer's SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. Yep, that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you can try and do your own editing of the videos uh, after watching my tutorial. So if you have anything, just drop me an email, uh, admin at engineers.sg. I will give if you have any questions. You can also uh, mention us at uh, engineers for the win, engineers FTW at on Twitter. Right? Thanks. Cheers.